Arche Literaturverlag is, in comparison to some other houses my colleagues work for, I just realized, quite young, only 70 years old. Um, it was founded in... It was founded in 1944, so um, still during the war, and we therefore celebrated the 70th anniversary last year, um, which came as a kind of a present to me because I joined um, Arche early, uh, early 2013 as a publisher um, with the task to relaunch the whole list. And realizing that um, the 70th anniversary was ahead of me, I combined the two things, and that was um, absolutely special and wonderful to do this, because I used the anniversary to present a completely new house. Um, we did what you just said was a facelift to an old lady. <laughs> um, Arche, of course, is a very well-known ship, um, and I, um, thinking about what an Arche or Noah's Ark could mean um, for us today. It was quite um, obvious that an ark could be a ship for authors from all over the world, maybe also with a focus of um, a migrant history. Um, so I went through the whole history of Arche Verlag and um, put together a, a new list um, combining the tradition and uh, completely new authors. Um, in 2008, Arche was bought by the children's book publisher Oettinger in Hamburg. Um, so um, ever th since everything changed for Arche because it now was in a big group and before it was always an independent publisher. Um, so the, relaunch, uh, the result of the relaunch is that we publish two lists per year, only hardcover. Um, it's uh, about seven per list, so 14, 15 um, per year. It's German and international fiction, upmarket commercial fiction and literary fiction, also a little bit of non-fiction, but um, focusing on fiction. Um, modern classics, so I can use the backlist, which is still there. Uh, rediscoveries and retranslations, um, speaking to us today in a kind of timeless way. Um, uh, Arche has a long history, as I said. Um, authors like um, Ezra Pound were published there, William Faulkner, Thornton Wilder, Catherine Mansfield, Albert Camus still with one book uh, at Arche. It also has a, a tradition of Dutch and Dutch literature. Martin Tart, for example, or Martin Tart, uh, sorry, um, started his career, German career uh, with Arche. Rinko Kampert is still published by Arche. Um, other famous German or Swiss authors like Gottfried Benn, Friedrich Dürrenmatt, Peter Stamm started their writing career at Arche and uh, then left, some of them left uh, to bigger houses, but some of them are still there. So a long history of famous uh, and um, important authors. Um, and this is the reason why I chose the first book um, on the left to show you. Um, when I went through the archives, I was very surprised to find Thornton Wilder's famous book, The Bridge of San Louis Ray, as the first book published by Arche in 1945. Um, still with the old tr translation from, in the old translation of 1929, and I started to read this old translation and thought, no, no surprise that this book doesn't sell anymore. The paperback is with uh, Fischer Verlag, and it was still in print, so, and the rights are with Fischer Verlag now, so I called my colleagues and said, why don't we do a new translation to celebrate the 70 years of Arche Verlag? And they said, yes. So we published uh, last uh, fall uh, The Bridge of San Louis Ray in a completely new and wonderful translation. And it worked. It was um, really reviewed in all the big uh, newspapers, and it was a good way to present the new Arche Verlag and the, and the tradition of Arche Verlag as well. Um, I don't know, but I don't think that I have to explain what this book is about. Um, it's a, such a famous story about love as the only bridge between the um, living and the dead. Um, the second book I'm presenting is something completely new. It's more on the upmarket commercial side, um, which will be published this spring in April. It's a book coming from the UK and it's a debut novel. Um, it's, a, it's a story about a mother and a daughter, and the daughter gets lost, 
and it's told from the two perspectives. It's not a crime novel. It's more the kind of psychological novel about the love, the bond of love between a mother and a daughter, even if they far away from each other and don't know where they are, and the little daughter even thinks that her mother is dead. So um, it's a kind of upmarket story. It's wonderfully told. And uh, it's, I think, the first time for Arche um, that we did a kind of huge marketing campaign coming with it, and we have high hopes for this book so that the relaunch also might have a bestseller um, this year. Yes, those are the two books, and this is also the variety on the new Arche is um, now presenting itself and going back to the logo, even this is completely new and we are very proud of this new logo. Thank you.